Hey, Assalamualaikum. What is up, guys? What's going down? I am Yusuf, and welcome to my turn to play. In this video, I am going to react to Sony's State of Play, which they're focusing 10 games coming out for the PS4 and also on the PS5. There will be new announcements and also updates to the games shown off in PS5 Showcase June last year. So let's react to Sony's State of Play in 3, 2, 1, let's go! PlayStation 5 some very Crash Bandicoot captured on PS5. Okay, so this game is already out, right? Uh, you can play this game on the PS4. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown on Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That includes 4K at 60 frames per second, adaptive 4K triggers, 60 frames per second, and more. Let's make this fun. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot Warp left off, in Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. We find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in Me personally, universe. I haven't played this game. This is a mind bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen. There's one thing about Crash Bandicoot games like the, the game is uh, very colorful, very beautiful to look at. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders and probably some errands to run, there's little time to wait on loading screens. All right. SSD, fast loading times. So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA changing ray gun. Okay, so they're using the PlayStation 5 uh, controller, DS5. The detective uh, trigger. To get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new dimension with enhanced 3D audio. 3D audio. Hmm. Pretty interesting. 106% completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress and hit your goals for things like time trials, flashback levels, and boss fights. Aha, old school. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. <laughs> Bring your incomplete save over from the PlayStation 4 and use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, and one more thing. If you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full details. Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundredth, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time on PlayStation 5. Nice. I'm just going to tell you guys that I don't have a PS5 yet. Welcome back, Crash. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some great updates lined up for you. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming Hey, this is Return, all right. This spring from PlayStation Studios. We saw this game in uh, the we PS5 showcase last year. A sneak peek at Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout. Who crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players White will Shadow. This inscrutable dark Whoa, planet in look at the graphics. And unfold mysteries, Pretty intense, which huh? To a larger force at play. Dashing and quickly maneuvering your oh, way wow. above and around enemies is key to survival in return. The moveset is pretty f uh, similar, pretty familiar to uh, Mass Effect's uh, Andromeda. I've played that game before. Uh, the characters uh, moves like this and dash, With can dash forward and the vast quite the same way, each possess, I would say. Combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. Oh, okay. Every so this the world will change. 
so this game uh, uses the when you die um, the world changes uh, the level uh, also the enemy placements so it's random random generated I guess the combat in this game I think will make or break the game devices that can grant rewards to the player these will vary from weapons consumables and upgrades and they can completely change your play style and make each cycle feel unique and i think the story in this game is what's going to get me intrigued uh to carry on forward we allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of selene wow look at how the door opens quickly into her personal nightmare That can't be here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts. I like the um, the surreal, dreamlike uh, visuals, the like they're showing right like now. I my mind. Like what the heck? There's a house in the middle of out of nowhere. No safe space. <laughs> Man, that's bizarre. Returnal. Returnal lands on April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. April, April. Next, let's take a closer look at a high impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. Knockout City. I'm liking the visuals. Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. <laughs> dodgeball. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Ah, all right. This is uh, a unique uh, take uh, on the dodgeball game. I'm seeing a lot of um, team-based uh, games uh, nowadays. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork but for me personally, I don't know. Um, if, your crew is outmatched, if I were to play this game, I'm not sure if I would brawl. stick playing this game for for a long time. But I'm but I'm curious to play this game though. To see the movements. Uh, Beyond special balls. Each map features a unique mechanic. The attack and how you dodge. Or use them to sneak up on your opponents. All right. You can literally become the ball. A new weapon for your teammate. Oh man, that's cool, man. Risk it off. Charge up a teammate. Launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and the you could become the ball. That's pretty ballsy. The team here at Bellin has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. See you soon, brawlers. Time for something new. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Slow Clap? Whoa! 
this the gameplay? Oh man, this reminds me so much of the the scene, the the corridor brawl fights in uh, Daredevil. Oh nice. I think the fights in this game is gonna be interesting because it's uh, up front and center, it's full frontal, it's right in your face. Sifu! That was the debut of Sifu coming to the PS5 console later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. Hey, this visual seems familiar. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Ah, Today, Hyperlight Drifter. For our new okay, title, okay. Solar Ash. Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Boy, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world. Oh, I like the movement skating. and the speed. On clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. This is like a um, fast paced uh, platforming where speed is the main thing as you journey to save your planet you'll it's find the stick face -to -face of this game speed even even the way you fight enemies are you know it's not you're not letting down as you explore the ultra Boy, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes <laughs> some of these creatures require speed like we're just breezing time. through the enemies you know we're not gonna stop for a bit you know fight them we're just going through it breeze through it which is nice which is nice fast paced game you know Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void I'm liking the visuals a lot that hold the key to her quest Oh my, the, the scope is epic. I can feel that. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think nice, is incredible. Nice, nice, nice. And more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Solar Ash. If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. Ooh. Scary games? When oh. I first found you, you were not Five Nights at Freddy's, is it? You were small. Are you ready? Whoa! Oh, we're the security guards. Oh, serious lah? Freddy's. Oh my god. My kids, they're like fans of this game. Of this series. And I'm sure they're gonna love this as well. The stage is set. And insanity prevails. Ooh. Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me together. Wow. 
Whoa, this is a full blown levels, man. This is not just you stuck in the in a room, you know, looking at monitors. You're actually walking through these halls and malls. Oh! Run away, run away! Man, the animatronics is damn scary. Damn scary looking. Security breach. <laughs> the continuation of a chilling new five, night five Nights at Freddy's at Security Freddy's. Beach. Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Oddworld. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come... Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. I'm liking the, there are well the look. Over 1, fellow Mudokans that you must try to save along the way. Whoa, there's a bunch of them. Than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles. Is it like the modern day lemmings? Tools they need to fight alongside you. To meet Sims. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. <laughs> In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience <laughs> and <laughs> skill. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites and ancient forgotten lands. Here we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle. This is things. a classic. Um, it won't be easy. Platforming. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough. There are also more dangers in the forms of natural Ooh. obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, Ooh. crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies. And we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. Oddworld so storm. Wait, what? That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. Whoa! They're giving away for free yeah, for... It's time to catch up with Kina for PS5? PS5 Plus subscribers? Seriously? 
the game's new, you know, and again, they giving it as a free game in as a pay, as PS Plus free game. Ah, this is kind of Bridge of Spirits. I remember this game. This game looks a lot like um, uh, Beyond Good or Evil. Personally, I can't wait for this game. Ah, oh, look at that. Lush visuals. Forest visual. I really do like a forest environment in games. Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. Cinematics. Ah, in game. And also that part uh, where she turns the like the black surroundings into uh, back to its uh, green area reminds me of the Prince of Persia game. The there's this one Prince of Persia game. Um, fighting those kinds of enemies that take on the, the people Kenna bridge of spirits oh it's out in August now let's settle in for a stylish new look at death loop a ps5 first-person shooter developed by the team at arcane death loop what? You'll never ever break this loop. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. <laughs> this is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. <laughs> the visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Toxic loop. Music So far this is the first uh, first person game Um, first, I mean, first, first person game um, in state of play. <clears throat> They're going for uh, James Bond intro. <laughs> Ouch. 
Oh yeah, so this is the game where you can control time. Alright. Pretty sweet gameplay there. So hey, you first person shooter fans out there, what do you think of this game, Deathloop? Are you interested in this game? I would say it's pretty hard for first person game uh, with a heavy story to entice uh, players nowadays but you know they're trying really hard here you know to to get you excited if at first you don't succeed die and die again before we leave how about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games Ooh, final fantasy 7 remake So what's this about? This game's already out. Now is this the... I mean the upgrade for the PS5? Wait, who? Yuffie? My name is Yuffie. Material Yuffie. Hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, <laughs> we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? <laughs> Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. So is this uh, going to be a... Uh... Uh, so is this going to be a, like a side mission where we play as Yuffie? Looks like it. Looks like it. The gameplay is all about Yuffie. I still remember her from the Final Fantasy uh, movie. She's pretty cute in that movie. Remake Intergrade. Let the hunt begin. Get down here, Bert. Graphics on PlayStation 5. Okay, the side by side comparison. Okay, wow. Wow, the lighting. Whoa. The fire. The brightness of the fire is more. Oh. 
wow the lighting the lighting adds a lot of depth on the PlayStation 5 it's really a difference between night and day it will at times on the PlayStation 4 is a bit darker So this is the upgrade on the PS5, the visuals, the visual quality, quality of life, prioritizes displaying graphics at 4K, 60fps, normal classic difficulty added, loading times. Ah, sweet. That's pretty fast uh, loading. Whoa, photo mode. Ah, new episode featuring Yuffie. Okay, alright. As for me personally, I've played the <laughs> demo uh, of this uh, game and I I liked the combat, what it did uh, to make it feel fresh as opposed um, uh, of just the turn-based battle of the old game. The turn-based battle is still there. Cool, cool, cool. That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate coming to the oh PS5 my God, console that's, uh, later quite this year. A, quite a mouthful. Remake Integrate. And that's our show. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come in 2021. See you next time. Okay guys, so that's the end of Sony's State of Play and also the end of my reaction video. Out of all those games, which games you guys are most interested and excited about? Let me know in the comments below. So okay guys, this is it. I'm Yusuf. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.